not only missing her, but also because the guy that hit and killed him has not been brought to justice yet. This August marks two years since Ashar Yance Clemens and her best friend Tatiana Brown were struck and killed by a suspected drunk driver here along Saginaw Street in Flint. They were both 13 years old. Ashar Yance was Anina Banks's niece. Funny. Um, I can't say enough about her. It's an anniversary that's hard to forget for Banks, not only because of how much she loved her niece, but because justice has never been served, despite the suspected driver of the car turning himself in the day after the crash. They let him go. Um, 72 hours later, um, and nothing. Initially, police told TV5 that speed may have played a role in the crash. But today, the Flint Police Department could not be reached for comment. We also reached out to the Genesee County Prosecutor, David Layton, who says the police department still hasn't given him a complete investigation with enough evidence that would allow charges. Kind of just makes me teary-eyed because, you know, and I've told the investigators, I've told the mayor, I've told the chief of police, Nobody knows how we feel. Banks recently reached out to state representative Sheldon Neely for help. It seems to me it was no real sense of urgency to really resolve this crime. Neely says he's now working with the state attorney general's office and other agencies to bring this case to the forefront. Try to get some type of resolve to be able to bring justice, uh, uh, bring people to justice for the family. Banks did get an attorney to take the suspected driver to court in a civil suit. She won $2 million, but she says it's hard knowing he's still driving around on the streets. Those two young ladies are the ones that lost their lives while everybody else is finger pointing. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.